I'm doing some crazy shit. <laughs> What's up today guys? Truck is here again. Um, we're gonna, I think we're gonna head out to uh, uh, Martin River today and uh, come back through the Sturgeon and ride the 54. I've always heard it was a nice highway. Um, I was watching a YouTube video a while back and it said that was one of the best highways to uh, for motorcyclists for to ride on. So I always wanted to go and I just haven't been up there yet. So I was talking to, uh, I was going to go for a ride myself today and I was talking to Don2323 on uh, Facebook and he asked me if I was riding. I said, fuck, why don't we do this? And he said, uh, well, he's just hucking rocks. He said, sure, let's, uh, let's do this. So going over to Tim Hortons, we're going to meet up with on 2323 and I think Scott might come too, Scott Wilson on YouTube and if so there'll be three of us if not then there'll definitely be two of us so Rex is unfortunately working today a little hard to get Rex to come but I think we're riding tomorrow so be another good uh, good ride somewhere I don't know I think we were planning on maybe doing that ride tomorrow with Rex but eh, if we got to do it again we got to do it again not like I'm going to complain for doing the same ride twice. Eventually you just end up doing all the same rides. So. It's nice when you get to do uh, something new. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I got uh, a few new pieces on the bike. I got uh, a new windscreen. It's the Moose Racing Shorty. And I got a uh, fork brace in the front. And I just put on, so I'm hoping that's going to be nice. And I got some lowering plates my buddy made me for the pegs, which uh, helps with the ergonomics of the bike. I got, I got really long legs, so I mean, I I bend, bent knee, flat foot this bike, no problem at all. I'm just about six four, six three, six four, so it's not it's not a very big bike for me. Tall, I should probably get a taller seat, but the lowering pegs really help with uh, with knee room when you're. I'm sure the seat would help as well, <clears throat> but we'll see what happens with the seat. The pegs are easy to do. So I did those. My buddy's a machinist, so or a welder fitter. But he made me the, the plates. We just knocked them up, banged them out, got the bolts for them. I didn't do no shifter extension or anything like that, so I don't find it too bad getting under the shifter. I mean, there, I could use some more room. I was going to get the extensions, and maybe in the future I will, but... Eh, whatever. The plates were easy. It gives me a little bit more knee room. It's actually a lot more comfortable on this bike now. Just with that extra little bit of room, man. It's only about 25 mil, but jeez, does that ever uncramp your legs? Uh, looks like we might have Scott here. Everybody's meeting. What's up, boys? How's it going? Never seen that one before. What's that? Never seen that one before. Uh, I just did the starter on it yesterday. Sweet. You always driving the maroon one, eh? Dirty, but... Oh, it's nice. All right, we just uh, met up. Tim Horton's here. Trout Lake Road. It's Scott Wilson. This is Harley. He just put a new starter in her there, and he's hoping that it's going to work for him. And we got Don 2323 with his new DR650. He's about to take that out for uh, uh, to finish up his break-in period. So he wants to get that done so his motor's running right. So we got three boys today. Should be a fun time. No, oh, he's going that way, all right. Don's doing some hooligan shit on the sidewalk. He's looking to get himself a ticket. <laughs> Uh, hopefully these guys don't want to speed <laughs> or don't speed because I don't want to get fucking ticketed <laughs> I'm doing some crazy shit 
<laughs> Frig, this front uh, fork brace, man. Already tell. It keeps things really planted in the front. Really planted. Wow, that's that's awesome. Take this uh, Highway 11 here, I think. Stop for gas. <clears throat> we can get through all the friggin' traffic. Holy Lipton, it's nuts. That's the oversized load up there. His load is oversized. So far you can't get it much different uh, with the three bikes we got. Harley, Dual Sport, and a V-Strom. Hopefully we all make the light and we're kind of speeding here. <laughs> I know the cops are really hitting everybody for speed. going that fast. Sorry boys. <laughs> you feel free, I'll catch up to you guys. <laughs> All right, get some gas and carry on. Need tools? I got tools. No? All right. I do. All right, we're gassed up. Uh, boys are all topped up. Yeah. We're all set. Let's do this. Hey, next stop's gonna be Martin River, I guess. It'll be a nice, uh, a nice ride. See how everything's running. Try not to run into dawn here. It looks like the course is clear now. Just had to tell the boys that I'm not into friggin' speeding. Not, not only, uh, not that I got a new bike there with some power, I'm still responsible and not, you know, not over, overdoing it. It gets expensive. Can't, I can't afford the insurance. You know, if the cops weren't out here really vigilant right now, then I'd take a risk, but they are, so. You gotta be smart about it. Unfortunately, I always have to be the adult. <laughs> oh well, we are who we are, right? Yeah, I got some pretty heavy headwinds though, running north. I always get that north wind, that's why it's still pretty cold. Man, this front fork race is amazing. It's, uh, it's exactly what the guy in the forum said. He said he noticed he was getting beat around, and I am, but it could be the windscreen but that the bike was staying still under him, and it's true, it stays frigging still under you. The wind doesn't, it's like it's not getting pushed around. But you are, because you're getting hit in the chest and stuff, but, wow, that's weird. It just stabilizes everything, I'm really impressed with that. Yeah, every little input you put into it, it's exactly what you're looking for. It's no longer like, what? There's your input and then there's a little bit of play there, but it feels like everything's just tightened right up. Like really, really tight. Very impressed with it. Very, very impressed. You gained, uh, makes you gain confidence riding at, at higher speeds. Which is awesome. And the windshield, the buffeting is much reduced. Everything right now is great on it. Really, the pegs, all three upgrades, well worth it. Peg lowering, windscreen, and the uh, free frame brace, or the strut brace, all I can say are really worth it. Oh man, it's good to get out here on a, on a weekend. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's just amazing to get a couple guys together go for a run, nothing else to do other than ride a bike. Yeah, it's something that you don't, if you don't ride, you don't understand. And if you do ride, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But not much to look at, look, you got blood all over the ground there from somebody hit a deer or a moose, probably a deer, because it probably just exploded. You ever seen a deer get hit at 110 kilometers an hour with a transport? It's just a mist. 
just missed. There we go, we're in Tilden Lake already. Holy crap, didn't take long. Oh, that was a big, big bug. Wow. That was a, uh, that was a hem helmet soccer. Yeah, oh, another thing I've done. Um, yeah, I should, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. I've changed my, uh, my GoPro position. It's no longer on the side, it's in the front, so I'm hoping you guys like it. This is like my first video with it. Um, so yeah, you're probably freaking saying to yourself, it, it looks a lot different. But yeah, that's, that's why I just put it to the front. It's, uh, and I'm noticing a huge difference with the wind as well. It's not a big sail on the side, right? The wind kind of hits. On the, you know, it kind of spreads around it, so it's not this big sail on the side. But yeah, so I'm hoping you guys like that position, and that uh, I can always put it back if it's not good. But I like it; it makes it feel like you're in it with me. And you get to see more of what's in front of me, not just or what's on the right side of me. Sorry, not just what's on the left, and then kind of whatever's in this direction. So. The helmet's blocking some of it out, right? I think it's pretty cool. I can always, uh, it's on medium right now for the, the view setting, the angle. You can always set it to wide so you see more of the bike. But I think medium gives you less of that fisheye effect. Yeah, let me know if you guys like it or not. 